Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines. Now the last episode we got a lot of our downtown area taken care of. Um, and I think we went ahead and got, uh, yeah we got some uh, metro lines taken care of too in here. Uh, so this episode what I want to focus on is someone gave me a great suggestion and we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Uh, in here, this area I've been trying to figure out what to do and what would be better than a stadium. So the stadium's definitely going to go in here, and I believe, let's take a look at our uh, our concerts area, and I think, yes, we can upgrade this now. So we've gone through and we've had at least six concerts happen, uh, and we have one band popularity that is over 70. Uh, so Elijah Moti is at 71 currently. Uh, now, with that, let's go ahead and uh, increase our ticket price. Uh, we'll go ahead and increase that to, I don't know, let's say 45. Uh, and since Nestor has actually gone up as well, we'll go ahead and increase that to 35. Uh, and we'll leave Lily right where it is. Um, now, what we'll do, and I'm going to see if I can't really zoom in here so you can see what happens with this. So when we upgrade this, we'll click on that to upgrade, and boom, it made it a little bit bigger, and it changed the direction of the concert stage. So the concert stage was actually facing the other direction, it was facing that way, now it's facing this way. Uh, and I believe, so if we look at this, yeah, we can fit a lot more visitors in here now. Uh, I believe before it was at like 300, now it's up to 500. So we can go ahead and fit 500 people in here. Uh, now, the next thing I want to do is, since we are making $25,000 right now, uh, I want to go ahead and do the ad campaign. Yeah, it's 9000 a week. Yeah, it's going to cost us, but we can go ahead and afford it now. No big deal. It will put a bit of a pinch in our budget. However, uh, I think we'll be fine. You know, with the way our demand is going up right now, we uh, are definitely going to need to increase our city that way we can get some more taxes in here and make some more money now with university square what i'm gonna do is I'm actually kind of plan this out a little bit um what i want to do is under here i want to use this one this uh i'm not even going to try and pronounce that um so it says build a football stadium to allow your city to have its own football team um, now, in this game, when it says football, um, for Americans, it's actually soccer. For those across the pond over in Britain, it is football. So this is actually going to be a soccer stadium, not a football stadium, depending on where you live and how you look at it. So what I want to do, and this uh, has to go with the um, network extensions too, so that zonable pedestrian pathway. Um, I want it to go, I'm going to take it up to about, I think right there, and then cut it over, and then have that connect over there. Now this is going to allow pedestrians to walk on it, but it's also going to allow cars to drive on it, and cars are going to be able to drive on it extremely slowly. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in these 5x5 five five parking lots. Um, actually first let's go ahead and get the actual stadium put in here. And let's try and get it as center as possible. I think we should be good there. There we go. That looks very nice. I like that. Very cool. Yeah, that looks good there. I like that. Okay. Uh, now, what we're going to do next is in order to go to the stadium, you have to be able to park, right? So parking lots. Uh, now, this 5x5 five five parking lot is actually something that I made myself. Um, it's not available for download in the asset store, but I can make that happen if you would like for me to do so. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in some more zonable pedestrian paths so we can get more of these parking lots in here. So I'll go ahead and do that one there. Actually, I don't want that one there. That one we can... I want to move that. So it actually needs to go right up against. It needs to go up against here. There we go. So we'll put that one there. We'll put another one here. And then I need another 
da, da. another one of these can come straight down. Uh, but I want it to connect there to that one. So let's see, we've got more parking lots. We'll put uh, put one there, and oh, I thought I could put one there. I guess I can't. Hang on. What if we move that one up against there, and then can we add another? No, we can't. All right, that's okay. We'll just have to add some smaller ones in there. So we'll add one there, and we'll add another one there. And then again, four by four parking lot. It's one that I made. Um, two, two, two. Now I think that's gonna be about okay. I don't have. I thought I built a smaller one, but I guess I had not. Um, is this a two by four, four by two, four by four? Okay. So that one can go there. We'll put a couple of these in here. That one there. And a couple more in here. That way it gives people somewhere to park. There we go. And actually, we're going to go ahead and put this all the way around. I'm going to put that there. Leave the corner open. And the reason why I'm going to leave the corner open is because I'm going to go into the regular pedestrian paths. And we're going to do this. We're just going to take a straight shot, straight line all the way through. That way it leaves some pedestrian paths in there. See, look at that. Look at all these people that are already coming in here. Nice. Um, now, for our team, let's see. We can charge $30 a ticket. Uh, we'll go ahead and just keep that for right now. Um, let's see. The football club versus Rocky Valley FC. Okay. Uh, let's see, come one, come all, to make it easier, faster, public transport is free on match days, increased amount of visitors raises odds of winning. Huh, we might have to do that. We just might. Because I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, see we have a subway station right here. Which makes it really easy to get to the stadium. I don't know, that's something worth looking into. You know what, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, see, come on, come on. Okay. So we'll be good there. So we've got that done. We've got the uh, stadium or the concerts increased. Let's see. What can we do next? Next, next, next. Stadium. College, looking, college is looking good. You know what? Here's what we'll do. We will get... Let me plan this out real quick and hang on. All right, so I figured out what I'm going to do. What we're gonna do is I'm going to kind of start filling in this area here along the highway um, because it's just, it's too open. I don't like it, I want it filled up. So let's see, where do I wanna start? Let's just start over here. Let's go ahead and get this filled up. So I've got the trash back there, which is fine. The trash can stay back there. Monorail is in here. I kind of want, kind of want buildings like right up a, alongside it. I mean, which I could do. Let's see. Actually, why don't I do this? Let's do. Let's go this way. And we'll have this road will go right underneath. Actually, that's perfect. There we go. Yeah, that is absolutely perfect. We'll do that. Okay, uh, and then I can do just some low density commercial. Go right there. Make a shopping area there. And then we'll just continue on this way. We'll just go, uh, just go right there. And we'll go there. Same thing, low density. I like that. Definitely gonna add a little, a lot of shopping in there. Um, and that's actually gonna help out for Briarwood Square. And actually, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, let's build up Briarwood Square. Let's do that. Uh, so this road actually, let's go ahead and upgrade that to, um, do I wanna do a six lane or do I wanna do, 
think we'll do a six lane. Yeah. All right, so let's upgrade that to a six lane road. And then that can go, of course there's gonna be pillars in my way. Why wouldn't there be? Gonna make things difficult for me. All right, so let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Have that come up through there. And back to my road, highway. How many lanes is that? One, two, three, four lanes. So we'll have that go there, connect over, and there to, oh, come on. There we go. That's a little awkward, but uh, okay. All right, now, I, I, uh, I don't want that to connect right there. Um, I, I do want it to connect over here though. Is that gonna work or is that gonna be too close? Nah, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be all right. Uh, so that can go, we'll have it go up to there and then just angle in. <laughs> yeah, that I like, I like that. So then what we'll do with this is, let's get some water in here first. Do, do, okay, water. Uh, I'm gonna need more water than that. Let's go that way. You can go that way. There and there. Oh, that one too. And might as well do that one. Why not? All right, so what we can do with Briarwood Square is we can go ahead and start getting residential in here. Now the question is, do I want it to be high density, high building residential or do I want it to be High density, low building, like this. Nah, we'll go ahead and do tall buildings. Okay. Uh, now, with that being said, I actually want to have... Can that connect underneath? It can. Okay. So, we'll have that connect underneath. And then, I'll have this go, yep, right along the highway. And um, let's see, that can come down to there, angle there, go to there, and straight on over. I'm hoping that's straight. Let's see. That's going to go to that point. And I think we're just going to do, just connect these all just straight across. There we go. That can go there, that there, and we'll just keep continuing on all the way down. And yes, I know this is very grid-like, but that's kind of how it needs to be for this downtown area. Uh, now, I am going to get a little crafty, though, when it comes to, like, right here. Let's just go ahead and do, I don't know, I think I'll do an angle like that. I think that looks kind of neat. Um, can't do an angle straight across, but... I can at least do an angle, I'll do an angle in, and then go that way. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so that means that along the highway, we're going to make that office space. Office space there and there. And then this is just all going to be high density residential. And I put that in the wrong spot. All of this high density residential, and I have the game pause. Go ahead, high density residential all throughout here. Uh, now I do need to think about, I need to get a couple parks in here. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's see, let's do, um, let's see, that is gonna be really big, but that'll be okay. If we put, mm, if we put that there, then that's gonna be uh, right next to the highway. It'll help increase the value of this area some. Now, while I'm waiting for that to build up, I do want to touch base back here over at our concert and see how this is going. Um, there's actually nothing going on right here. Nestor will be on 36, 2039. So that is a little ways. Actually, it's not too far away. We're at 14, 2039. So we've got a couple months there. Um, oh no. Lily went down seven. 
Well, Lily's just not very good. <laughs> it's Lily's not. Lily does not do very well. Um, Elijah does very well, and Nestor does all right. So hopefully, um, well, hopefully the next concert that goes on does a little bit better. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. All right. Now, it, we pretty much have fixed our traffic issue that we were having before. Um, it is still getting backed up here a little bit. Uh, and I think a lot of that's just due to, let's see, cars coming this way, going that way. Is there, do I have, is everyone able to go in the correct direction? Yes. Everyone can go in the correct direction that they need to go. Um... Same with here. Everyone can go in the right direction that they need to go. I mean, there's not much else that I can do with traffic other than, uh, you know, if I wanted to do traffic lights, which I still haven't been able to research yet. I haven't had time. Um, but I think we're doing okay. You know, traffic's going to be a little busy regardless of uh, what we're doing here. So, um, all right. So we've got this area growing. It's not growing very quickly, but it is growing. Um, it's going to probably take a little while for that to get built in. Uh, what I also want to look at is, let's look at some more uh, transportation. Um, you know, if we look at, uh, what is that, disaster detection, I don't know what that is. I'm not even using that. Let's see, destruction, yada, yada, yada. Actually, let's look at our traffic flow. So traffic flow right now is 60%, which it's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Um, obviously our worst areas are right in here, which is normal, um, but everything else seems to be fine. Uh, public transportation, where's that at? There we go. Um, Metro line, 20, almost 3,000 people a week. That's, uh, that's really good. Um, how are we doing with uh, with this line here? Line, come on. Line details. Uh, whoa. Wow. This has got to be probably the busiest line because of the way the hub is. You know, this hub is, is absolutely insane. Um, I do think that uh, we might need to increase the amount of vehicles that we have on here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I've got six stops and five vehicles. So let's go ahead and add two more vehicles and see if that helps us out. I mean, it should. It definitely should help us out some. Um, you know, this is probably the biggest uh, area of improvement that we have is right here. So hopefully by adding two extra ones of these in here, that will help us out a lot. Um, even if we have some that are empty, uh, that's no big deal. Um, you know, when they go to other train pickups, it's no big deal on that. Uh, now let's take a look at, can I look at the, can I grab this one? Can I, can I grab you? I need you. There we go. Uh, line details here. We've got four and three stops. We're actually doing all right. We're doing fine. Um, again, this is another switch over. That's probably why uh, this is um, the way it is. This one's actually not doing too bad. It's mill to Kraken. That's not doing too bad. No, that one's fine. Uh, university Square. So the red line going to and from the university is actually doing pretty good. It is doing pretty good. Um, Three, four hundred, four hundred some people here, and it looks like I'm wondering if that's either because of, you know, I'm not entirely sure what that is because of. Really don't know. Couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. Okay. Uh, now let's <laughs> let's look at our buses because I'm telling you what that was. Um, yeah, that was a bit much. That was a little bit too much when it came to what was happening there. Uh, now, I've got 200 people sitting here at this stop. Don't know why, but that's a lot. This one, there's not a whole lot of people. There's there's really not. Um, I think we can go ahead and take our number of buses here on this one down to like seven. 
Um, this one, not bad at all. Uh, this one's a little backed up. We've got 320 some odd people waiting here at the uh, the bus stop. So let's go ahead and increase that to, I don't know, let's go eight. Uh, what line is that? Hub to Tweeterville, okay. Um, hub to Squidward Oil, hardly anybody on there. So let's take that down to six. Not a lot of people. Um, Let's see, hub to Squidward Oil. This is, let's see, hub to Holly District. That one we're doing fine on. Fine. That one we are good as well. Okay. Doing good there. And we're doing fine there. Okay. My only concern is, actually, it's not even a concern anymore. Um, it's really not. Yeah. Now that we've got uh, we've got ten buses in there, we've got uh, one bus over here, and it looks like it's uh, is it headed over there? Is that what's going on with it? I think so. I think it's turning around, headed over there. It'll be fine. Okay. All right. Um, now the train, which we don't, we just have people coming in for the train. Uh, Three hundred and forty-five tourists per week. That's good. Um, not a whole lot of tourists using these, but we really don't have a whole lot of tourist sites yet. Uh, now this one, this is doing pretty good. Um, you know, we have three trains going, 260 people a piece, decent amount of people, 474 passengers a week. I like it. Definitely like that. All right. Now, um, this is starting to grow in very well. Uh, I do want to get, let's go ahead and get some uh, services in here. So let's do an elementary school. Let's see, let's do an elementary school there. And actually I'll go ahead and do another one down here on that corner. And then I'm gonna add in a high school as well. Uh, we'll put one on that corner and we will put one in this corner. So that'll help out with education for this whole area because we're gonna have a lot of people in there. Uh, fire station, definitely gonna to need to get one of those. Actually, we'll go ahead and do a large one. Uh, and then a police station, we'll go ahead and do a police headquarters right there. Yep, that's gonna be perfect. All right, uh, now prison, ooh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting. That's going to be something that we can look at later on. Uh, jail capacity right now is 440. Detain criminals, 239. So we're fine there. Uh, we don't really need to worry about that too much just yet. Uh, police helicopter depot. Hmm. You know, I don't think we have one of those yet. Pretty sure we haven't built one. We'll look at that later, though. All right. Next thing. Let's look at leisure. So we've got a lot of room for improvement for that. A lot. Um, we don't have any type of leisure out here. We don't have, we just have that one statue there, which isn't really doing too much. Um, and we're missing a leisure opportunity right in here as well. This area of course is fine because of all of those buildings that are in there. So I think that's definitely gonna be something we need to look at. Uh, let's look at a couple of parks. And I think if we do, if we do this one, um, of course that's not gonna that's not gonna be center at all. I don't like that. Uh, let's do a botanical garden, and let's put that, let's put it right in the middle there. That should help out. Um, do do do. Ooh, this is gonna ooh ooh very busy intersection. Um, oh, I know what's happening right now. I know what's going on. Okay. So I need to do this. I've got this going on here, right? So we've got Briarwood Square. And I need to make sure that I've got um, I've got these policies set here. So that needs to go. Tweeterville needs to expand out to there. Tweeterville is actually going to be the biggest district that we have. It, it's it's huge. Um, 
I might think about splitting it up uh, into like Tweeterville West and Tweeterville East. You know, I, I think I might end up doing that. I think that would be pretty neat. Um, so Briarwood Square, we're going to look at this and we're going to put this on uh, Old Town Policy. That way with Old Town Policy, it will, um, you know, prevent these people from cutting through. Because right now, these people are probably cutting through on this avenue thinking that they can go um, anywhere they want. Whereas in, so like if Tweeterville, if you have to go into Briarwood Square, then that's fine. But if you're in Tweeterville and you need to go to um, Robin Hills, then you have to get on the highway. And that's just the way it is. So hopefully that will help clear out some of this traffic that's in here. Um, and I'm not sure why I have buses in here. Downtown to Tweeterville. I'm confused. I'm not entirely sure what that bus has to do with anything right now. Uh, lines overview, line details. Don't understand what's happening with that. You know what, let's do this. Let's go into there. Uh, so I have, for some reason, a bus line that decided to make a shortcut. Okay. Where do I have that going to? Where is that? Uh, it's right here. Huh. Interesting. So now it's just cutting through and coming back this way. Weird. I might have to fix that. That I might have to fix. Yeah. Anyway. Um, all right. So that's built up. We have, uh, it looks like we're having some trash problems. Uh, so if we go into, let's look at our trash. Where's my trash at? Where is it? There it is. All right. So trash incineration status. Um, yeah, we're going to need to add a couple more of those in here. Let's go ahead and add a couple more incinerators in like right there. And um, I think we'll go ahead and add an extra one in there too. And that way it'll help keep up with the keep up with the trash situation, so we don't have any problems there. Okay. Um, now we're definitely back up in demand for commercial and residential, so we'll go ahead and fill some more of this in. Put all of that there. And then we'll fill in our residential through here. Get that in there. All that in there, all that in there. There we go. Nice, all right. And that's actually building up really, really quickly. Um, and it's not doing too much of a dent right now. Okay, all right, I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm not enjoying what's going on here though. I don't like that. I might need to get rid of that connection because I think that's, I think it's just going to end up causing a lot of problems. I really do. I really, really do. Hmm. I don't know. We'll look at that later though. All right. So that's getting filled in. And while we're waiting on that to get done, here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and uh, let's plan the rest of this out. So that's going to connect to there. This will come out to there and connect. And I'm going to start making this interesting too with these angles. Because I think it's going to be really interesting to do. It's going to be a lot. And, and it's going to be fun. You know, it's going to be fun to have some different... Uh, angles going on with the roads because you know when you're driving through a city at least when I'm driving through my downtown area whenever I decide to go downtown um, you know not all of the roads are like this they're not straight you know north south east west you know they've got some uh, they've got some different angles in there uh, which is pretty neat to see you know I like seeing it that way um, so let's add in, we're going to add in some commercial here, all the way through there and there. Why not? 
the one thing that I wish we had, I wish there was some demand for industry because I want to have some more office spaces in here. I really do. Um, this is not fully filled in. I think we'll leave that there for right now, though. We will. We'll leave it open. Um, this is looking a lot better now. This, wow, this looks a heck of a lot better now. I like that. This is starting to get backed up, though. And this intersection is getting pretty bad. But we'll look at that later. I'm not going to look at it right now. Um, Uh-oh. People are sick. People are, ooh, people are sick. You know what? That reminds me. We probably don't have a whole lot of health coverage. We do not. That's, okay, that's a bad thing. All right, so, yeah, healthcare availability sucks. <laughs> that's something that I have neglected big time. Um, so what if we do this? Can we put, we should be able to put a hospital right there. Because I don't think, uh, even the next upgrade for that, I don't think it's going to be that much bigger. So we'll put one there. Um, not going to be able to fit anything else in there. That's going to help that area out a ton. I've got a hospital there. Should probably put a hospital in like right here. Yeah, so let's put one right there. Um, I definitely need one in here. So I'll put one there. And this one doesn't have one either, but I think this more needs like just a medical clinic rather than anything else. Um, so put a medical clinic in there and then I definitely need to get uh, some crematoriums around because we're uh, starting to have a little bit of a death wave again. You know, that's that's inevitable. It's going to happen. Uh, we just have to make sure that we've got enough uh, crematoriums and everything to deal with that. So let's get that taken care of. And we'll go ahead and put another one here on the corner. All right. Nice. Now, I definitely want to think about, like, in this area for Briarwood Square, you know, we want to look at the, um, the metro line. We want to look to kind of see how that's going to go with this as well. Um, because I definitely want to have like a metro line that goes from Briarwood Square into Robin Hills. And then I also want to have a metro line that goes from Briarwood Square over to the Mill District. You know, so we've got a spot here um, that it can connect to. We've got a spot over there that it can connect to. Um, and then I want a couple spots that are in here as well that it can connect to. Uh, so that's something I'm going to need to think about when I'm planning this out. Uh, but for right now, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it there. You know, we're going to have to deal with this little bit of a death wave that we've got going on. Uh, if we take a look at our death care, we are sitting at 666 deceased people right now. So 672, 686. Yeah, so we're going through a bit of a death wave. Um which is unfortunate, uh, but we're still sitting at 82,000 people, which is good. Uh, yeah, we've increased some, but uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be decreasing some here now. Um, so hopefully it won't hit us too hard with what uh, we've put in here. And I think on the next episode we're just gonna go ahead and continue on expanding with uh, with the city and get more of this filled in between Woodland District, Robin Hills, Briarwood Square. And let's go ahead and add another district in here to see what that's actually going to be called. Um, so Robin Hills, we're going to take up to the highway. Uh, Woodland District, same thing. We'll go up to there with it. And we'll, we'll keep it at about that size right there. And then our new district is going to be right here. And we'll go to about right there at the T just after the T section, and that is going to be Middle Square. Ooh, I like that name. All right. So we definitely have, uh, let's see, Tweeterville, Faro Beach, Applegate Heights, Holly District, Squidward Oil, which, uh, you know, Squidward Oil, we might have to expand a little bit on uh, when it comes to the oil piece of it, but we'll see. 
Um, ooh, this is something we're definitely going to need to look at. So we are in need, desperate need, of workers. And I think we need, yeah, we need uneducated workers is what we need. So we're definitely going to have to take a look at that in the next episode. Um, or maybe in a couple episodes. Not really sure yet, but we will see. Um, having water issues, that's because I have no water. So water availability, where is my water being drawn in at? Right here. So let's go ahead and add, I don't know, let's just go ahead and add a couple in there. Uh, three, four, let's just do four of them, why not? Four will be good, four will get us a decent amount. Yep, there we go. All right. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you everyone for joining me. Uh, like I said, Next episode, we'll get uh, we'll get this pretty much filled in. Hopefully, get this filled in over here. Um, downtown is looking really, really good. Probably gonna go in and fill some of this area in with. Uh, you know what? Let's look at that now. Let me do that first. Let's look at this. Let's look at. Uh, all right, so commercial can go there. I want to look at zonable pedestrian paths here. That's what we're looking for. Um, Let's see if I go this way and let's see, can that cut through or not? No, but this can cut through to there and it can go to there and we'll go there, that way and to there. Okay. And then what we can do is we can just fill this area in with commercial just because it's, you know, it's part of the, you know, it's part of the college. It's part of, uh, you know, college life and everything and just kind of wanting to, you know, relax and chill and have little shops that are up in through here for them to go to. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm done. <laughs> Uh, thank you everyone for joining me again. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. The city is actually really starting to come together. I, I mean, this view right here in itself is, uh, is pretty neat. It's pretty awesome. Um, any questions or suggestions that you have, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so with that little subscribe button down there at the bottom. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.